what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about the chucky tv series again here today and we have had a bit of an exciting week for chucky fans last week during the pride of chucky marathon that they had over on the sci-fi channel last week and they were showing some new teasers and, and snippets of what they've been filming out in Canada working on this new upcoming Chucky TV series that we know will be airing on the USA and Sci-Fi Network later this fall. Um, one of the costume designers, Catherine Ashton, has provided an update on how far along they've gotten in the filming situation. But I wanted to talk about this here really quick. And also in the thumbnail, we'll be I'll be showing you guys the first look at jake weber who will be our new protagonist that we know chucky will be following for the most part of this tv series but in this tweet from don mancini he is kind of teasing that we'll be getting an answer as to what happened to nika aka chucky in nika's body and tiffany and the tiffany doll in the back seat of tiffany's car after they escaped the asylum or after tiffany and nika nika in this case escaped the asylum and rolled off into the night with tiffany everyone laughing man maniacally tiffany doll in the back seat we're gonna find out what happened to those three individuals that has me very excited because i always wanted to know if this tv series would give us an answer to that now we know it seems that it will based off of don mancini's tweet we'll get to find out what nika with chucky and her body has been up to with tiffany and i'm going to presume that this has something to do with how this chucky doll that jake will stumble upon at this yard sale i'm assuming that's how this doll got at this yard sale. i'm assuming that's what will be the case that's not to say that that's how the doll got there but even even if not by those two individuals i feel like something happened with nika aka chucky and nika's body and tiffany for this doll to end up in hackensack like that ending up in the possession of this woman and we know jake will be buying the doll from miss jolly some of you have even speculated that you think miss jolly could be tiffany who is just going under the name miss jolly so could we see tiffany jennifer tilly back in her role as tiffany as early as the first episode but just posing as someone named miss jolly that's quite possible i just i don't think miss jolly is going to be tiffany i think miss jolly is going to be janelle monet <laughs> i'm still holding out hope that janelle monet is in this series somewhere because we don't know who's playing miss jolly we haven't even seen any mentions of a character named miss jolly so maybe they've changed her name up or maybe they've done something completely different with the uh the character as a whole and how jake will be getting the doll at said yard so maybe he'll get it from a different character name at this point but the other thing that i want to show you guys was again this image here of jake this is our first look at jake weber our new protagonist who we know will be part of the lgbtq community he will be someone who is struggling to come out to not only his father but he's learning to i guess self-discover what he is uh being gay and just navigating that whole type of stuff that he's most likely feeling a little on the fence about because of the things going on with the school that he goes to the people around him and the environment making it less welcoming for him to come out and find himself in that in that capacity he's dealing with the recent death of his mother living in a single parent home now so a lot of things he's doing with that whole self-discovery he has going on within himself but then we have the doll chucky who will indirectly in a very sick fashion like i've speculated will be helping him find himself and find his voice to be more comfortable in coming out because that's honestly what the spin of this seems like it'll be indirectly while chucky might not be wanting to do that directly he's going to help this boy learn to come out that's what i see happening with chucky aiming any victims or any potential people that want to harm jake i can see that happening and the other thing that also oh, in this image you have jake in the basement of I'm assuming this is his house so it looks like jake's in the basement of his house and you know the costume that he's wearing looks pretty nice uh zachary zachary arthur i'm assuming he'll be doing a phenomenal job in the role as jake i hope it's a good a good job that he does because i'm really interested in getting to know this character and see his growth over the course of these first upcoming 10 episodes of this season that we're about to get the other thing that we need to talk about was how far along are they in production shout out to ray for sending this over my way but according to the costume designer Catherine ashton who answered this question to a fan recently 
when asked how far along are they in production she basically said that they're working on episode six and seven right now so they filmed episodes one through five now they're working on episode six and seven so they're moving pretty quickly through production i've seemingly with no issues i'm i'm presuming because we haven't heard anything negative come out from them filming out in canada so that's a good sign and the fact that they're already on episode six and seven that's very exciting to know so they should be done with filming for this series i would hope by the end of july maybe even mid-july no later than early august for sure so definitely can't wait to see how things are going to continue to progress as far as production what new exciting things we'll learn and it's nice to know that they are moving rather quickly through this filming process so hopefully by the time this is all said and done again hoping for mid july late july early august at the latest for production to be complete then by mid august the first half of september we can get our first teaser for the tv series that will premiere on the usa sci-fi network the next month in october this is going to be a pretty exciting halloween season for us horror fans if we're if you're a fan of the chucky franchise if you're a friend of halloween if you're a fan of all this stuff that's about to come out over the over this next couple of couple of months leading into the fall candy man all these different things that are coming out for us horror horror nerds horror fans this is pretty exciting then we have scream 5 this is really exciting time to be a horror fan really looking forward to the chucky tv series can't wait to see what this does and how this bridges into hopefully another pair of films that will get down the road but if they want to again just make this all wrapped up don mancini's incarnation of it at this point if they want to just go for a full-fledged tv run and call it a day after a few successful seasons seasons then i'm fine with that too i just prefer to have a couple more movies i think don mancini has expressed interest in doing those in the past so hopefully that's still something he's interested in wanting to do kind of just using this tv series as a break from that for right now just kind of flesh out some characters a bit more because you get to with the tv series you have room to do that so we'll get to see a lot more growth with certain people learn more things about certain people spend more time with certain characters that we may not have been able to get as much development out of due to the fact that with a film you're usually working with like a 90 minute to 120 minute runtime typically um so hopefully everything works out with the tv series and hopefully this fall this will be something exciting for all of us horror fans and something to get latched onto and can't wait for each episode every week let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and then miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'll have me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video